Art and culture are a vital part of our lives and not a luxury for the elite. I am Alexandra Dariescu, a concert pianist and a young European leader and couldn't be happier to be part of Friends of Europe's Festival of Politics and Ideas to Transform Europe. <laughs> Music is no mere entertainment. It heals, it brings solace, it brings joy, it makes one reflect and even act. Music brings beauty in life. Music has the capacity to take away fear and loneliness. In 2019, just 5.3% of the scheduled concerts worldwide included works by female composers, a new study found according to PRS for Music. So it's time to act. Being part of the Young European Leader Programme 
encouraged me to start my own initiative to promote female composers in equal representation in all my recitals. So I want to introduce you to the genius that was Lily Boulanger, a French composer and the first woman to win the Prix de Rome. Just to put it in perspective, Prix de Rome was established in 1663 in France and it was open for painters and sculptors. Then it got extended to music in 1803 and Lily Boulanger became the first woman to win it in 1913. Following the success at Prix de Rome, Lily stayed at the Villa Medici in Italy, where she composed the Trois Morceaux for piano. These short pieces are charming and meticulously crafted musical moments, each telling a different story. With elegance, full of harmonic textures, ending in a jubilant celebration. So we talked about equal representation in classical music. Now let's speak about diversity in classical music. This month is Black History Month. So what better opportunity to shed some light? Chichi Nwanoku said in an interview with The Guardian, classical music is overwhelmingly white and male. So in 2015, she started her own orchestra, Chineke, Europe's first professional Asian, black and ethnically diverse orchestra. You can check it out. So this led me to discover Florence Price. 
Price is noted as the first African-American woman to be recognized as a symphonic composer. In 1933, Price's symphony was the first composition by an African-American woman to be played by a major orchestra, the Chicago Symphony Orchestra. It was only in 2018 when the New York-based publishing firm Shermer announced that it had acquired the exclusive worldwide rights to Florence Price's complete catalog, giving us, the artists, access to sheet music, which we really didn't have before. This is only two years ago. Born in Romania, I come from an incredibly rich cultural heritage and as I always try to include a piece by a Romanian composer in my recitals, this is Tudor Ciorta, who studied with Nadia Boulanger in Paris. Nadia was Lily Boulanger's sister, the most influential teacher of the 20th century, who went on to teach Astor Piazzolla, Leonard Bernstein, Daniel Barenboim and Quincy Jones. As well as so many other people around the world, musicians and artists have been shattered by COVID and the pandemic. We saw every single concert hall or theater closed down and this treacherous virus bringing us all to silence. Yes, artists have opened their houses to bring hope and comfort, and they have been incredibly adaptable and communicative, showing solidarity through the art they practice. 
what would I like to see from our leaders? I would like to see them acknowledge the importance of arts and culture, but focus on the individual creators behind what gives sense to our lives. While we see so many organizations being bailed out, individual artists, mostly freelancers, continue to see their contracts cancelled well into the future, surrounded by an enormous amount of uncertainty. Artists are key workers for the soul. Let's take a moment and think of one single person who has not read a book, watched a film or streamed music during lockdown. Let's ask ourselves, what does music mean to us as citizens? What does music mean to us as a society? For me, music brings colour in life. It shows solidarity and makes people kinder. Music transcends gender, background, time, religion, race, and it encourages intercultural dialogue and promotes mutual respect. It brings us closer in a world ruled by social distancing. If we could open ourselves a bit more to empathy and hope, the world would change. Our world could change. Music is inclusive, but our society isn't yet, at least not as a whole. We must bring social change and advocate for fundamental change of policy at grassroots level, equal rights, education and diversity. Advocate for love, understanding and celebrating our differences, fighting for the arts and what they mean to our lives. After all, isn't this what humanity is all about? On that note, Happy 250th birthday, Ludwig. <laughs>